So hello friends, my name is Ravindra. In this video, we will see how to merge two Excel files by using the Power Automate Cloud Flow. Okay, without using any premium connector. Let's we see how to merge two Excel files. Okay, so let's we jump to our Power Apps. Okay, in Power Apps you can be see. Okay, first I have take a manual trigger. Okay, after that we use list row present in table action. And a list of present action for Excel, our file one and file two. I just show you the both the files to you. This is our file one. In this, we have a number column. Okay, this is a unique column. On the basis of that, we are merging our Excel sheets. Okay, so this number column is present in both sheet one as well as in the Excel sheet two. Okay, so you can be see. So in the sheet one, I have two columns: column one, column two. Okay, and in third second sheet, I have column. Three and column four, okay. And last one, I have the number column, column one, column two, column three, and column four, okay. In all the Excel sheets, tables are already created, okay. And if uh, in your case table is not created, so I have created a video how to create a table in Excel, okay. By using the Power Automate, you can see that video. I will uh, add that into the description box, okay. So this is file one, file two, and this is our merge file, okay. So let's we jump to our flow. So by using this list row present in table, we will get the data of our tables. You can be see this is our flow run history. Okay. So in the output, you can be see complete the data one, two, three, four, five items of our file one. Okay. And in the second one also. Okay. In the run history, I will show the list row present in table. Okay. So this is the output of second one. So in this, you can be see our number. Column is equal, okay. So in this case, and this file, okay. So in both the files, our number column is same. So we have to merge this Excel on the basis of this number column, okay. So let's see how to we can be do, okay. So first, I have used apply to each, okay. In apply to each, use one more apply to each, okay. So in this uh, our new designer studio, you can be see I have taken two apply to each action, okay. First apply to each and second apply to each, okay. So what you have to do? How to do this step? Okay. So first, simply go and use add row. Take a Excel connector here. Okay. Select the location OneDrive. After that, select the document library OneDrive. Select the file. In our case, we have the file merge. Okay. So let's select the file merge Excel file. Okay. After that table is loaded automatically. So just select the table and select the number column. Okay, just click on the dynamic content and select the number. So it will directly go to the loop. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. Okay, so first loop is directly applied. Okay, so in the second, okay, what you have to do? This is the number column of our first apply to each column. Okay. Of list row present in table two. This is the second table action. Okay, so now we want to select. Let us go to the any dynamic column, and from the first column, select any column. Okay? So in our case, I have selected column. So it directly automatically goes to the apply to each one more time. Okay, because in apply to each, you can be see in the run history, we will get an array. Okay, so that's why it will go to the apply to each. Okay, so for first. Uh, Array, okay. It will go for one time apply to each, and for this, okay, it will goes for the second time into the apply to each, okay. Like you can be see here, okay, first and second. After that, we have to apply one condition here. You can be see simple one condition we have to apply. If number is equal to the number column, okay, means this number is equal to the this number, okay. So just create a record. If not, then skip it. Okay. To increase the speed uh, of this, okay, what I have done, just go to the settings. Okay. Turn on this concurrency control and increase it to the 50. Okay. For both the apply to each action. Okay. What concurrency limit does? Okay. It will check all the condition at the same time. Means it will run not at one one time. Okay. It will uh, run the 50 uh, actions at a single time. Okay. This. Uh, Will done by using the concurrency control. So let's we run our flow and let's check it out. Before that, okay, I just uh, 
delete our this type okay and let's we uh, save and test it so in our case we will go manually first i will close the files let's continue run the flow our flow is running okay let's click on the done our flow is running you can be see just i open it in the full screen it taking some time okay it take complete four seconds okay and uh, you can be see our condition is satisfied and it is added the records okay so let's we go to our one drive and let's see our record is added or not let's go to the one drive merge file let's we click on this So you can see our merge Excel is created now. Okay, so that's all about friends. Okay, if you have any question or any suggestion for me, you can be provide that into the comments box. Okay, My suggestions are always welcome. Keep learning, keep growing, keep exploring.